there, boys, girls, and squirrels. My name is ModSapper. Welcome back to Heroes of the Storm. Now, in today's episode, we're going to be playing some Arthas. Why? Because they changed his Q-Build. They changed his Q-Build. At level 4, not only does it reduce the cooldown by 3 seconds, but if you hit an enemy hero, you get the mana back. Now, this is really going to help in those early game, like, offlane situations. If you want to do an offlane as Arthas, this is going to be the build for you. Now... You do also at level 7 have the death coil heals. So once you hit level 7, right, your sustain goes through the roof. And then once again at level, what is it? Yeah, 16. Lower your health, the more damage you do, the more sustain you do with your Q build. Now, what I'm going to try to do here is do it like a Sendragosa, like Q, like poke build. So we can disable towers, so we can get in there, we can do a lot of things. Basically, we're going to try to turn Arthas into an offlaner rather than a peeling tank. Now, that being said, he can still do those things pretty successfully with the build that we're looking to show off here today. So, without further ado, and without further rambling, we're going to jump right in, and I will show you guys what this build looks like. At least, I hope. Frostborn hungers. Oh, right, friends and family. Today, we find ourselves on the Volskaya Foundry map, the Geno. So, what we're going to be doing is, at level one, I, I was trying to, I'm trying to figure out my game, my bearings. Where am I going? What am I doing? At level one, we're going to go ahead and go Frost Presence. Why? Because this still allows us to root, and it's really not that big of a deal. Um, they have a lot of ranged people, a lot of people that can zip around. The only people, actually, you know what? They do have an Alarak. Now, we're actually going to go with Eternal. Oh, I got to figure this out. We're going to go with Eternal Hunger on this one. We're going to try to do some offlane trading. We're, we're going to change. We're going to change our build up. On the friendly team, Arthas, Zul, Chromie, Zagara, Lieutenant Morales. On the enemy team, Alarak, Genji, Sir Mullington himself, Kale, Flippin' Thos, and White Man. Okay. Try not to come too close to me, friends. I was trying to get out in the middle of nowhere land, see if we could do. There we go. Gonna be able to give ourselves a little bit of self-sustain here. We're gonna scare him a little bit. Alrighty, now we need to we need to soak. And what I will do is I'll go down bot. Nope. Looks like our beautiful Zul is going bot, so I'll go top. Back up, back up. Okay. Well, I should have pinged a little earlier. That would have gave him notification notification that I was heading out. Um, but we needed to we needed to start soaking really, really badly. Okay, so it looks like we're going to be laning against the Kael'thas, and that was stupid on my part. Alright, we were able to avoid all the damage there. Um, looks like we got a... It's 2 to 1 trade, so nothing too special here. Now, I'm not sure if we're getting Sir Mooington to trade. Okay, we probably could have rotated down. I, I just wasn't paying attention to his health very much, I'm going to be honest. I was waiting for the Kael'thas to jump out of these bushes, but it doesn't look like he's going to. Alright. So, depending on who we lane against, if it is in fact Kale Thos, our goal here is going to be stun him. Ooh, Sir Mooington. This makes me happy. Okay, he might think he can trade with me, in which case we can get our Frostmourn Hungers off. Got him. Nice job. Okay, everybody is deceived by the glory that is Arthi Boy. Okay, and I would love if we could keep trading against a uh, Sir Mooington, also known as ETC. I wish his name was Sir Mooington. It'd be great. We're going to heal ourselves up here. All right, we are at level four, so what this means is reduce its cooldown and refund its mana anytime we hit an enemy hero. Now, that's nice for poke, but not so nice for the healing, at least for now. I love the fact that we have a self-heal. Okay, we do have the... What is he doing here? Not sure I agree with his life decisions. Now we should be we should be in a position where we can start poking here pretty soon. But I do want to make sure I got a nice amount of health with the Kale Thos, because one or two good. Okay, we're gonna we're just gonna get our mana on. Oh shoot, of course that's gonna attack me. We're living the dream, boys. We're gonna heal up. Alright. Now we do have the objective popping, but I can't, I can't in good conscience leave this here. Okay, so we're going to try to clean it up. We haven't got a lot of stacks on our Eternal Hunger, so I'm going to be honest there, I've kind of dropped the ball on that one. But we need to get this and keep it from pushing. Get that sippy cup. Alright. We're just going to dampen this, and then we're going to walk away. Alright. 
Coming down, friends. I'm coming down. Now, this is where we're going to be able to get our trade on. We're going to go into this with the Q. Once again, I'm not here to necessarily win all these trades outright. I want to just get some stacks. Because then our damage is going to go through the roof later on. Need to be careful of those grabs. We've been getting grabbed by those way too much. Okay, once again, we're just here to get our trade on for our questy quest. Okay, and I can, once again, I can kind of heal myself up. Okay, good silence, good silence, good silence. That was my bad, that was my bad. Really bad on my part. Okay. Hopefully that allows us to push in a little bit. I was getting damage on the entirety of their team with my um, Frozen Tempest. But our, our poke should be amazing as long as we're not letting those continue to spread through our team. We are letting this Kael'thas run rampant through us. 18,000 damage. Nice job, Zul. All right, and we do have our death coil always healed. So what this means is we're going to be able to push those envelopes considerably more often. Now, we are going to be able to stack our quest for Frostmourne Hungers off of the objective. Get the kill. Good job. We're going to ice this baby girl. We're going to keep her slowed. I don't think we're going to be able to get her. So we're going to rotate back. We're keeping this um, howling or er, frozen tempest on. Not just to um, kind of be uh, set it and forget it, but we want to be able to be in a position where we can damage some of those waves as well. We're going to be able to clear this thing out really quickly here. Okay, we just, we're going to be here. I just want to get some harass off, show off this build a little bit. They're doing a pretty good job of pushing me back every time, so I think they're aware. They're pretty aware, at least, that I'm doing the Frostmourne Hunger's Quest. Now, I wasn't able to quite get my Q off there, but we would have been able to do some pretty decent Pokey Burst. Once again, and we're going to stay in this. Ooh, the sideways one. I wasn't expecting to be in range of that. So we were able to finish it. That's great. Good lord, the amount of bounce around they have is insane. But it's okay, because we have our sustain. Oh, good lord, y'all. Good lord. Oh my gosh. That was good on their part. I was I was get, actually getting ready to walk down to mid so that we could soak that out, because we're starting to fall behind on XP. And we don't want to be doing that. Now, to be fair, this Alarak is doing actually pretty decent. Probably testing out some of the changes to Alarak, where they drop some of his damage. What is he looking at right now? 20,000? You know, all things considered, if you play f good, that's not that's not an outrageous number. It's not an egregious number to be thinking about. So. Now, we do have the stacks here, but we're just going to continue to keep increasing damage as we're able to get those stacks off. Okay. Good lord. All they do is push me away. That is frustrating. Which is ironic because as an Arthas, you're so used to like, oh, I'm just going to go in, I'm going to stun him, and I'm just going to be a beast. All right. So we do have level 10. We were able to soak that up. We're doing kind of poor on XP soak, but good for us. They are as well. The only thing that keeps them ahead is they keep getting picks like that. I'm assuming their Kale Foss is setting up most of those. With 23,000 damage on two different characters, that's pretty scary thing to think about. We're gonna body block him. We didn't lose much fight in that uh, exchange at all, or much health in that exchange at all. They're doing a death ball. We need to be, we need to like pay attention to this. Back out. I'm starting up an exit Okay, what we're gonna try to do is just walk out now. Golden. We were able to do it. It was still a scary, it was still a kind of a scary play, okay? Just gonna get our sustain off as much as we can. We're gonna lose this one. Our morale, our morale is actually doing a great job of keeping us in this one. Oh no! The mosh! Come on, Zul, baby! Come on, Zul, baby! 
Okay, our goal here is just to... Oh my gosh, I cannot believe we did that. Our Morales did an amazing job there. We're going to go ahead and send our to ult. Mostly to scare them away. Kind of keep them from getting out of here. Now we should. We're disabled. So we were able to get some pretty good harass on him there. Now we're going to go ahead and rotate up because he's going to have to back. All right, we should be in a position now where we can take this. Now, unfortunately, we do have a pretty decent uh, cooldown time at 100 seconds on Cindergosa. So, um, unfortunately, we didn't pick up a kill there, but... Really? Nice medevac ship. That was clutch. Why she would choose to fly in general would be a little scary. Nice stun. Nice take. Good job, team. Good job. That was a great take. Now, I am the tank, so in theory, I could get in there. But I am also able to really poke and harass now. So I am not necessarily relegated to the objective. Good lord. These guys and their ability to peel for each other. They're doing such an amazing job of peeling. It's actually astonishing. Okay. We didn't quite get what we wanted out of that. But what we are going to be able to do is pop back in here, lose sight, and we'll run back. And then we can just harass. All right. I'll focus on this talent in just a second. But we want to be in here. We want to be peeling. Okay, keep keep going back, boys. Keep going back. All right, we're going to go ahead and go with the cooldown and adds a slow to it. Because that's kind of that's kind of our goal here. Get some damage just to scare him away. Perfect. Now we're able to back out. Our objective is still doing some work here. So we're just going to try to follow it in. Make sure they don't do something squirrely that gets them caught out. Back out. Back out, please. I do have Cindergosa. We're going to use it. I do have my um, frozen... Oh! Oh boy, I do need to be careful of that. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna howling blast this. Okay, get our health back. All right, I'm not sure how much I like this uh, build yet, but I love how how much more it requires you to pay attention to positioning on it, Artie boy. Oh, we're going for it. I'm just gonna zone here. Do the classic Arthas thing of zoning. Just being here. Just being here scares most of them away. That's the goal. Alright, so what we want to try to do here is save, keep that. I don't know why he went ham. We sh He shouldn't have got away with that. I'm going to be honest. Shouldn't have got away with that. But we are going to sippy cup because the objective is popping here in just a second. Alrighty. Keep harassing. I want to stay away from my team. Back away! What are you doing, Morales? You don't melee rage, girl. What are you doing? Okay. That's like the second Morales we've had that is kind of... I don't know if they're new to the game or what, but you do not melee range as a Morales. Like that. We do have our Sindra Ghost up, so we could really contest this if we wanted to. Um, especially with... Okay, we're, go we're going for it. Go in. Okay, or we're not going in. Alright, we should be able to take this. I want to take this out, because they are all top right now. We're going to go ahead and uh, embrace death. This is where we really kind of this build takes off. So it is a much later build. Good stuns. Good stuns. Okay. Now we're backing out. Okay. Back out. Keep backing out. We're doing fine. Alrighty. So we want to be able to kind of stage here. We do have a really um, good uh, push on top and mid as we do have the forts and they don't. And we do also have the forts on bottom, so we just need to be very careful here. That is what we need to be careful from. Okay, back out. Okay. 
Okay. We want to get this stupid turret out of here. That's a take. That's a take. Okay. We're just going to try to raid boss this bad boy. Turret down. Turret down. Oh, we rooted them. Now, unfortunately, they're going to be able to contest that. We were able to stay in that fight incredibly long for being a Q build Arthas. That one surprises me a lot, actually. Now, we have a bonus of extra 88 extra damage, which is pretty decent on the um, on our trait there. Now, she should be able to get some harass. Like, she should be able to get some decent harass off here, especially with all of them being so low. Okay, our Zul can go in. Once our Zul gets in there, I think we'll be able to finish this one off. Just keep poking. Keep poking, baby girl. Ooh, that one hurts. What, why is everybody melee ranging right now? I don't understand what is happening. We need, we need to go in on this one. Have to go in to stall. Stall or we lose. I shouldn't say lose, but we lose the objective for sure. All right, I wish she would have held on for just a second. That's theirs. Okay, so we just give. Okay, so what we're gonna try to do here, we're gonna try to send your ghost here just to get a little extra contention here. Now, I know it's not the most amazing team fight thing that we have, but we are able to really harass the white man. Keep pushing them back. Their ability to, what exactly kicked me back out of curiosity? I'm not aware of an ability that kicks me back that far. We're gonna sippy cup. Oh my gosh. Oh, did they change it so the fist kicks you back? Okay. I'm gonna try to get in here and just be a nuisance. Now I know I'm gonna I'm gonna die for this one. But I would really like to keep them from having a heavy contention here, so. We stop. Stop walking close to each other, please. When he gets those on you, you just got to walk away. So for those of you who aren't familiar with Kael'thas, his second ability um, is called Living Bomb. And he puts it on you and just ticks down. And once it ticks down, it explodes. And if there's an enemy minion or hero close to it, it will spread to you. So please, when you see the Living Bomb, do not stand next to each other. Do not go melee range as a healer when you see somebody doing that. All right, it does look like our plan there to kind of pull them back off of our team worked. Risky play because if it didn't pay off, um, I would have died and we would have lost probably this entire keep. But it did pay off, so we did a pretty decent job there. Now, fortunately, we only lost one fort, so we still have the advantage here. Um, but they do have a level advantage, so they're going to be able to hit 20 much quicker than we are. Arzula has been doing a great job of split soaking during these objectives. We're going to try to get in here. We're going to try to see if we can't help these guys. Ah, it's too late. So they're level 20, so we need to be care. Uh, we're going to say care 20 on these guys. Let him know. No one's here. Don't be playing up that far, baby girl. Kills are not that good if we can't get them safely. All right, so we need to be very careful. They're prepping for this next fight. We want to get up here so we can at least soak some. Once again, we're just going to kind of be here. Harass, get some poke off. Now, we could fight them under their turret if they do get a little too greedy here. Okay, they did use their um, turret in this, which is great for us, actually. I'm going to try to get some harass here. Oh, my team did not follow up at all. They were clumped up so tight there. We could have got some really good value with the Chromie and with our um, Zagara. But they did not follow that one in at all. Like, I get the idea of trying to stay back and poke and stay safe. But that was a team fight for us. We could have won that. Especially since we could have... I could have Cinder Ghosted there and they would have lost the entirety of that wave. But I wouldn't have been able to get the Cinder Ghost off. A protector is almost ready. 
Okay, I will be up and able to contend this team fight. Just need to be careful. Dude, they set that up every time, man. It's, a, it's the same setup every time. Okay, back out, back out. We want to be on that point. We have, we have pressure. We have pressure, so just get on the objective. Alrighty, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to do this because what this will do, it'll root the enemy and slow them. So we will not only be able to really fight under those um, towers, but we're actually going to be able to root these people, which gives us infinite more value out of this. Alright, doesn't do incredible damage, but oh well. Okay, we're gonna we're just gonna do it. Oh look at that burst! Did you guys see that burst? That was incredible. But we all divided everything. We divided absolutely all of our damage. Why are we AoE damage? Focus the heals! Oh my gosh, team! I had their heals bursted down to all, virtually nothing. We needed to focus heals. That was that was really bad. Everybody was at like a third of their health. That was stupid. I. Yep. I had her to like one eighth. Uh, I'm not. I'm not even going to. I'm not. It's not worth saying anything. We're still ahead. We still have really good pressure. This is going to even it out for them, or get really close to evening it out for them if we don't uh, play this correctly. But we could have. We could have had their heals, and once their white main would have been dead, it it would have been team fight over. We would have got this objective. We would have won. Like that would have been game over, no doubt in my mind. Now this guy is at 88 percent. What's he got? 26,000, 25,000 health, 24. Okay, so our towers are doing all the work for us here. I don't agree with pursuing this at all. He wouldn't have been able to stay in that. Okay, we're fine. I can really kind of do my own self-sustain while I'm damaging this guy. I want to. I want to contest this white man. Okay, keep fighting on it. I can keep fighting on it, I should say. Zool, careful, baby. What are you doing, man? Our Zool likes to go way too ham for this. Okay. We pushed him back, and I'm going to be able to keep harassing. Okay, now we want to back out. What is time trap? Why, why am I getting hit by time traps? Oh, no. Did they change Chromie, too? They changed Chromie so that she can time trap her friends? That's horrible. Take him out. Good job. That's a great take. What the flip did this Chromie grab so that she can time trap us? Okay, just take him out. Body block him. Never mind. We're taking out the white main. She's down. She gone. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. I have a white main and she's going to die. Good lord, y'all. Focus the white main. Get the heals. Oh my goodness. You guys do that. Okay, never mind. I was going to try to take this objective. Or try to take this uh, tower. Okay, we were able to get our heal back. Okay, we got the fortification camp. Now we should be able to push this in. Oh, he's done, he's done, he's done. I would really appreciate it if we focused on somebody who couldn't get away, like Genji. Just kidding, that was facetious if you couldn't tell. Okay, that's my bad, that's my bad. That was a bad call on my part. Good job. Good job. I really, I was, I got greedy. I'm not gonna lie. That gives me time to look at this build. What do we got here? After time stop ends, enemies affected by time trap are slowed, and allies gain. What the heck? They had to have changed it because I keep getting hit by time traps. Hmm. I'm gonna look at Chromie after this because if I'm getting hit by time traps from our Chromie, that's some great anti synergy. 
<clears throat> now, it could also save you, so I mean, I can't say that for certain. But... Alright. That'd be a really lame change. But the fact that her Q now does do at least minor damage to um, enemy minions, that's great. Alright, so we got a lot of pressure in there. We got a lot of pressure in there. But it's still a very close game. We need to win this one. We need to win this one. Because if we can stall, we have we have pressure, so we can make it happen. <clears throat> back up, back up. Help, help, help our friend. Oh, he's so dead. He's so dead. Get in, get in, Chromie. Chromie. <clears throat> Zig Zagara. Okay, did I save her? Nope. Okay, wow. Well, that might be game there, friends, because we took a stupid fight. That was a really bad fight, guys. We did not need to be in that. But that's okay. That's okay. We might be able to stall. We're not going to be able to stay on the point. Like, there's no way we're going to be able to do that. So what I'm going to try to do is just harass. Just keep harassing him. But we may need to be in some kind of race here. Now, what we need to focus on is their white main. Oh, okay, that was my bad. Misplayed that combo pretty badly. Keep doing that. I'm gonna try to run back here. We're not gonna be able to get peel off though. Okay, we need to back out. Just back out. All right. We'll have to try to take this objective down as quickly as we possibly can. I don't know how we're going to do it, though. No, back away from me. Back away from me. Thank you. Thank you for finally doing the things. Just get a little damage off. A little damage off. We were able to get him down, you know, a few percent there. Baneling's doing some work. We're going to go ahead and sippy cup once we take some damage. What are you trying to do? What is the ulting gonna do? Like, our issue isn't the fact that we need you to ult and keep us safe. We need to take this thing down, like yesterday. GG. Good on them for playing it smart. We're gonna ult here. Last ditch effort, we might as well try to get something. All right, GG. That's game, friends, that's game. Well, either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I hope we were able to showcase the new Q build, Arthas. It didn't change him a whole lot, I'm gonna be honest. It doesn't feel that much different. Um, I was really hoping to get a win here. But we had a couple of really bad um, team fights where we were down one person that we shouldn't have taken. Um, it looked it looked to me like we had a couple people that were a little newer to the game, which is awesome. I'm, I encourage you guys to kind of make sure that we're paying attention to that kind of stuff. Um, now, there is one interaction that I'm interested in looking at right now, and that's the Chromie interaction with her time stasis. Because nobody else on the enemy team was a Chromie or had a time stasis ability. So I'm trying to figure out what we have going on here. Where, where are you at, Chromie? Um, I'll have to do WoW, and then I'll have to find Chromie that way. I don't play her very often. Um, time trap. Place a time trap. Stealth for two seconds. Chromie trait can be activated to detonate the trap, placing all nearby allied or an... So, she has to activate it. She has to activate it to put me in stasis. Why was I in stasis? Why was I ever in stasis? I don't know. Either way, it is what it is. We're going to go back to our boy, Artie. Our tandem animus. There he is. All right, if you want to follow along with that build, it was a lot of fun to play that build. Now, you could also throw Frost Presence on there to get a little bit more appeal, but I like the other extra damage. It allowed us to kind of offset for the amount of sustain we were going for. Um, so we went with Eternal Hunger, Death Lord. We went with Immortal Coil, Sindragosa, 
Mixed reviews on this one. It, it did okay for damaging, but it mostly allowed us to fight under towers if we had that uh, option. Um, I probably would still rather pick the Army of the Dead. Just the amount of sustain you get with that is insane. Um, and we went ahead, I believe at this one, we went ahead and went with Frost Strike because it slows people. Um, we went with Embrace Death, which is where this ability, where this build really comes out to play. And then at level 20, we could do range, disable duration. We could have done any number of these things. We could have done movement speed, which would have been great. We could have done anti-magic shell, which might have been a good job since our team liked to put themselves in really bad positions. With that being said, thank you so much for joining. Remember, liking, commenting, subscribe, great tools for you to get in touch with me. Let me know what you liked and like what you want to see next. This is an awfully long Heroes of the Storm video, so I do apologize for that. But I feel like it was a, I was able to showcase Arthas in his entirety throughout the uh, different stages of the game. Now remember, I love you guys, and we will see you next time. Toodles.